want to talk about the stuff I see online and off where guys uh, complain about certain behaviors of black women. And then you have a certain segment of sisters who will post comments. Oh, you know, I'm different. I don't do that. You know, I treat my man different. You know, that's just disgusting, blah, blah, blah. What you're, what you're essentially trying to communicate is that you want him to pick you, that you want him to think that you're different than the women that he's talking about, that you're better, that you know he shouldn't think of you like that, that you're the exception, so he should pick you. What you're communicating actually is desperation and stupidity because any woman who sees a man slamming black women like that in general they don't want to talk about your bodies they want to talk about your skin tone they want to talk about your hair they want to talk about the fact that you wear weeds they want to talk about that you a baby mama they want to talk about your sexuality they want to talk about your work how you think how you talk how you walk anything anything they can think of to criticize that's what they do and a lot of these guys have pages, you know, on Facebook, they have websites, and y'all like it. I, I, I'm i just disgusted at how many of these, these hateful ass men have pages where all they do is criticize black women and tell you what you need to do and how you should be different and how you need to change based on their fucking opinion. Who the fuck are they? And y'all sign up, you know, to like these pages. And then you go and post all these comments with your name right there, your face and everything talking about, you know, oh, you know, I'm not like that. You know, I'm different. Trying to get their approval. The part that really bothers me the most, and this was some, this, the reason why I'm talking about this particular topic is I saw a guy talking about, this, you know, women's, the smell of women's vaginas. Okay. Now, I understand that there are, you know, people, I mean, if you have like some kind of medical condition of infection or something, things might smell, you know, not so great. But in general, the adult female is supposed to have a slightly musky smell there. That is designed to attract males. When you have a male who has a problem with that, he's a fucking pedophile because he wants some adult woman to have the look and the smell of a child. That's what he's telling you. You guys, instead of understanding that this is a fucking pervert and he's confused about, you know, dealing with an adult female, you want to say, oh, you know, I use, uh, you know, whatever. I can't even think of the name of the thing right now. Oh, Summer's Eve. I use Summer's Eve, you know, I keep Miss Kitty so clean that I, you know, my shit smells like flowers and blah, blah, blah. And what I'm telling you right now, these are actual quotes. I'm not making this up. This is stuff that sisters posted to this idiot's comment and with a picture there, right? And then if you click the picture, it's like their full name. They got where they work. They got where they went to school. They got pictures of their mama, their kids, you know, their daddy, their aunts and uncles from the family reunion, you know, pictures of them with their co-workers at happy hour, all this stuff. Okay, so this is your real profile. Your dumb ass is going over here on some clown ass niggas post and putting all this personal information about how you care for your vagina. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, I was sitting there just in, in just awe. Because I I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I couldn't understand what these sisters were thinking. And then it dawned on me. They weren't considering the risk of, you know, the damage to what they could be doing to their lives. They were considering more so that it was important to them to get the approval of the men on this thread. That they were different and better than the women that the guys were talking about. That was disgusting. You know, y'all need to do better. You need to think more. There, you know, when you put something online like that, and you think, okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna delete it. You know, I shouldn't have said that. It doesn't matter. It's still online somewhere. People can take screenshots. People can download entire websites. And there's a web, there is a website called the Wayback Machine. Go and check it out. 
they put type in a URL they have screenshots of websites for the last I don't know 20 years so you thinking that you know what you what you're saying is going to be deleted if you remove it from Facebook trust me it's still out there in cyberspace so you guys need to think more before you act and stop trying to get the approval of knuckleheads online that you don't even fucking know. You're not going to know them. You're never going to date them. Nobody in your family's going to know them. What's the point? I mean, why do you care what they think? That's the part that amazes me. Why are you trying to win them over to make them think that you the atypical black woman instead of the one that they're talking about? Because when the time when it's all over, you are just you just a black bitch just like all the rest of them. You thinking that you setting yourself apart and being, you know, saying that you're different and special and better than the women they're talking about. They don't believe that shit. And the fact that you even participate in that discussion shows them that you have extremely low self-esteem. So when a guy when those guys look at that, you fall into the same category as everyone else. What you have done is let some fool online get into your head and control your emotions once again to dictate how you respond and what you think about yourself, how you respond to other sisters and how you respond to them. You guys have got to get your act together. Stop doing that. Stop it. You, you're setting yourself up for disaster. I mean, like here you are, say you're 19, 20 years old, you posting this stuff right about your coochie all online okay then you're going to try to get some high level position they going to do a search on your name trust me and then what's going to come up you got some dumb ass shit like that talking about how you wash your vagina with summer's eve and douche and all this stuff they're going to be looking at you like what kind of fucked up thinking is this we don't want her here she's stupid so you you got to think about the long term um you know the internet i understand the whole thing is new and a lot of people don't really understand the ramifications of what they post online i do but i don't give a shit because i'm old you know it's like i don't i mean you know what i mean i've done what i want to do and i really don't care but you guys you know you're just in college you're young you want to get married you want to have you know start your careers and stuff you have to look at stuff a bit differently than i do you know i i have a lot more freedom to say what the fuck i want to any fucking way i please because i don't really feel like i have any ramifications there's any shit they can do to me but you are just starting out you know i'm on the opposite end of the track so what i can do is say you can't not not yet give yourself 30 years and then you'll be in my shoes and you can do that so i just wanted to you know kind of touch on this um because i see so many black women uh, fall and pray to these kinds of traps i mean it's like they throw this bait out right they want to see who's gonna bite how many women are going to share all this information about their sex life, you know, their their genital hygiene, um, you know, what they do in bed with dudes. I mean, I've seen it all. And, you know, women just like tell they tell too much. And here's your face right there, you know, in your little social media profile, full real name and everything, you know, about where you work and everything else right there in the profile and your dumb ass is posting all this stuff trying to get these niggas approval of you as being a different special unique kind of black woman (sighs) i don't get it so that whole pick me thing is you gotta let that go and on another tip of that i you know i was thinking about this too when i was in college they used to have um i don't know these group dances were really big at the time this was in the 80s and I guess they still are. You know, the group dance where nobody's really dancing with a partner, but everybody's doing like the same move. They used to call it the bus stop and the hustle. And I don't know, they probably have different names for it now. But that was, you know, like I said, back in the day. And I used to call that the pussy show. Because when you looked around, the only people on the dance floor were women and maybe a gay dude or two. All the dudes would be on the sidelines watching. You know, they're looking at who's shaking it. They get a, like a free view, you know, of you wiggling and jiggling and your breast jiggling and your butt shaking. And, you know, they get to look at your legs and everything. While you dance and thinking you're just having a good time, what you're really doing is putting on a pussy show. You're competing with the other women on the dance floor to see who can get the most male attention. That's what they're, that's their perspective. And 
you know, certainly dancing is fun. When you go to clubs, I used to do that too. But I never participated in those group dances, and I still don't because of what I observed. And uh, it, it was, you know, so when the women get off the dance floor, right, the dudes, you know, they pick which one whose booty they liked the best, or whose butt, you know, was jiggling the, the fastest or whatever, who had the best moves that's going to translate into, you know, just how she's going to work and when she's riding me. Then they rock up to the woman and, you know, spit their game. That's why I called it the pussy show. So you guys got to think, you know, everything that you do is under examination and scrutiny. Um, I'm not saying that that you should change your life, you know, completely about that. But I'm just make, trying to make you aware. Don't go through the through your life with blinders on, you know, just thinking that what you're doing is not being observed and and uh, that there's no ramifications for what you're doing. There will be, and anything that you do in public, and anything that you do, um, you know, online especially, could come back to bite you, not just professionally, but personally as well. But um, the pussy show, uh, 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 I'm just not down with that. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling on. It's late, I'm tired, but I did want to make sure that I got this done. And I just brought this to your attention. It's something to think about. You know, um, you don't want to project yourself as having low self-esteem where you're just desperate for this male attention so that you take it even online from complete strangers any way that you can get it. And that's how it comes off. You know, so you're not, you know, please don't think they think of you as special and different. You're the same as everybody else. You're a black woman, and they look at you all the same. We're all the same. So you're not going to be treated as any, anything special, unique, or different in spite of your, your proclamations to the contrary. Um, so it's the kind of thing that, you know, just pay attention to what's going on around you in your environments like that. Uh, keep your eyes open and stay woke. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. This is Deborah Cooper from survivingdating.com, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.